everyone, welcome back to my weekly vlog. Starting on a Sunday today. Out for a little walk with my mum and dad. I'm just gonna grab a coffee. Had a few Proseccos last night, feeling a little rough. Cheers. Cheers. Woo. That was like the nicest walk ever. It was so good. Um, very sunny today, so it's a very happy Sunday. I'm now just sorting the wardrobes. Ooh, <laughs> my wardrobes a little bit because Jake wants one of these drawers. So, and I've filled them, so he wants one of them. So I need to put the stuff, hang it up in my wardrobe. So that's what I'm doing. Also, I'm loving my hair. I'm channeling, channeling my inner duchess, um, Sophie Herman from um, Celebs Go Dating. She used to wear hers like this, and I'm just loving it. So yeah, let's do this wardrobe. Do a little timey. Take it back home, mama, day morning. One girl have so much gym gym stuff tell me that so we've got tops jumpers long dresses all trousers gym stuff coats getting there and then even better because you can just go goodbye Happy Monday everyone. I'm just I've had the most productive morning. I've been uploading YouTube video my YouTube video for Thursday and I've laying <laughs> like I haven't been that productive. I'm obsessed with wearing my hair like this. I did mention it yesterday. It's because of the Duchess of I'm not I'm a celeb, celebs go dating. And I'm just having a really good day. Like I got on the scales again this morning and I'm really not one of those people to weigh myself because it just really gets in my head. So it had got in my head a few weeks ago when I did it for the first time in ages. And I was the heaviest I've ever been, which I mentioned. But then I weighed myself the day before any breakfast or anything like that. And I've def I've lost like four, five pounds. Five pounds, sorry, not four, five. And it just sort of proves like, I think for me, it's how I look. I definitely knew I'd like put a bit of weight on like around my face and stuff, but I think I forget like my hormones like make me crazy and I feel so normal. I have for the past like week, it's been so nice. I've felt normal again, but my hormones make me this crazy girl. I just don't know who I am. Like the makers feel so fat, ugly, and I know it's probably everybody that that happens to. The do that, that's what the do either just make you feel like sad or, or like upset or angry. But for me, I just always feel quite gross. Um, so obviously I'm clear of hormones, so I'm feeling quite good. And obviously I weighed myself again today and that's it now, no more weighing because it's not how I, much I weigh because I'm happy with what the scale said today, but I still know that I would wanna look a little bit different, lose a little bit more weight if I could. But yeah, so feeling good. Hope everyone's having a good start to the week. Tonight is the announcement where Boris is gonna say what's going on in the next couple of months. And if I'm being honest, I mean, it, obviously when this vlog goes out, it's gonna be set what's happening, but, oh, what's in my hair? Put loads of oil in. Um, obviously it will be set out what is happening, but if, if it was down to me, not, in fact, not if it was down to me, because I would hate his job, like, it's got the hardest job in the country right now, but I, for me personally, feel like I wish we could just stay in this a little bit longer, however long it takes than come come out of it too early and have to go back in because for me i freak out with change i just hate change so i'd rather just stay in it until everything's done and then be free and released slower if that makes sense which i think is kind of what's going to happen because it's still february right now and i'm sure that the roadmap what they've leaked has said that the shops won't really be open until about april so it's get like that's like another sort of five weeks which i think is sensible because they're still vaccinating people you know, my opinion is my opinion. That's how I feel though. And I get how everybody else feels, but I just think for me, it would be nicer just to stay in this longer so that when it come, we'll come out of it, we don't go back into it because it's just, it's really hard to take if you're someone like me who doesn't like change. It just sort of freaks me out a bit. Like 
coming in about in and out of lockdowns it's just too much so that's how i feel but it's all good because i'm sure they know what they're doing i hope um but yeah i'm gonna stop talking to my camera now because there's someone coming yeah but yeah that's you know that's my little Monday morning thoughts. And it's gonna be a good week. The weather's not great, but come on, doesn't matter. We're gonna have a great week. Oh, happy little Tuesday. It's the, oh, locked in. Bye. Oh, it's the favorite time of the week. Starbucks drive through and food shopping. Starring mother. Starring my Hi. madre. Hi guys. So we've came to Asda for our weekly show. We've come to the Asda. The Asda. Wax, no, they like wax melts. She was telling me about this one. Said it was little strawberry cocoa. Um, sushi. These, I'm gonna get some. Cookies and cream. Living our little best life in Asda. Well, I'm not sure this is my best life. Is it not? <laughs> no, I'd much rather be in Dubai. <laughs> Where? Or oh, egg though. Get like two for seven quid. I think I'm dairy milk. What are they? Mint. Lint. Creamy white. I've cream. tried everything else. Not that. I haven't tried them. Oh yeah, well, I haven't tried them. I would choose them. White though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Get this. Oh, girl did that. There's so much good options. Oh, little mini jam donut bites. Well, Asda was a fun little trip. I've never been to Asda in like so many years, but maybe it could be the new, the Marks new place, <laughs> the new Marxies. Had loads of like limited edition things, so do a little haul when I get home. I might get it. Um, yeah, you I order. Hi, could I get a um, hot chocolate, extra hot, and extra chocolatey, please? What size? Um, is it your tall, small? Is that right? Tall. So, small hot chocolate with extra chocolate and extra hot. Yeah, and, yeah. Then, and then, do you do matcha? Did you say you want the whipped cream on, sorry? No, thank you. No Ask if they do matcha. Do you do matcha? Drinks. Drinks. Yeah, we've got the matcha green tea. Matcha green tea. Um, actually, no. Could I get a chai latte, please? Is it the matcha tea latte with the chai syrup in? No, sorry, not matcha at all. Can I just get a chai latte instead, please? Sorry, I'm really struggling to hear that. What is it? Just a chai latte. She's, she's changed her mind. Sorry, just a chai latte, please. Okay, no problem. Sorry Bye. about that. A tall page? A tall, please. No problem. Thanks. Thank you. Thank Bye -bye. you. I was scared to get matcha in case I didn't like it, so I've gone for a chai latte, which I've also never tried, so probably going to hear that as well. What a morning mini. Chai ice latte, I don't know whether that's even a thing. Do you want to ask about before she makes it? No, I'll just have it. It'll be nice. Let's just hope. Very nice. So I've got I've got what is the, this. Oh, maybe I've got the wrong ones. It's a cup of milk. What have you got? Chai, I think. Oh look at the queue now. Milk. It's not hot chocolate, that's for sure. That's milk. I know. What am I going to do? I don't really want to go in the queue. So, Mum's order was wrong. They give her a white hot chocolate, but I got chai latte. It's actually really nice. Can you believe I'm drinking a hot... Is it a hot coffee or chai latte? I don't even know. I'm going to Google it. Well, I thought chai was tea. So did I. But a latte is coffee, so yeah, it must be. So... Chai latte. What is a chai latte? Hope that's actually nice. It is. Yeah. Masala chai is a tea beverage made by boiling black tea in milk and water with a mixture of aromatic herbs and spices. But this is a 
coffee. So it's like tea coffee. Well, not I don't have a what clue. What does it taste of then? Really nice. Try. Yep. Try my um my chai latte. Chai tea latte, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Oh, delicioso. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Shh, 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 shh. Am I going to like this? I feel like all I do in these weekly vlogs is eat sushi and go food shopping. But hey ho, there's really not much else to do around here. So, sushi, sushi and food shopping it is. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's quite spicy. Get quite a lot. It's got a little soy sauce. Mmm. That sushi I just had was from Emma and it wasn't. Was from Asda and it was honestly probably one of my favorite sushis I've had in so long actually better than M&S it was lovely and I thought I'd do a little Asda haul I thought I'd do a little Asda haul what I got so I got some of the limited edition cocoa pop strawberry flavor to be honest I probably won't even eat them but I just thought they looked good and I got some caramel rice cakes and I got some coleslaw, which was 75 pence. Absolute bargain. It looks really creamy as well. 75 pence. I've never been asked to like shopping, really. I'm blown away. Then I got two little, two little mugs. Oh, there's a cat in the garden. Go away! Um, two little mugs. One says lucky and one says luckier. 25 pence each. They were 50 pence crazy and then i got these which i've been desperate to try and it was only as that i'd sold them to so the milky bar cookies and cream um like snacks they used to do these years ago but in not in milky bar i think they were munchies or something delicious and i got some pink wafers because i used to absolutely love those when i was little so they're they're exciting and um, I got some I got three different types of tea I got some matcha green tea bags with cranberry and lime I got some mango and strawberry and I got my faves which I've been wanting to get for ages but I couldn't find them in supermarkets and I got them puka puka cleanse teas it's a little tea selection and then more chocolate Standard favourites, Crunchy Rocks, Congo Rum, Unreal. And then I got some of the Mini Egg Bar and then the Smarties Bar because they're new and again haven't tried them. So as to have like loads of the limited edition chocolates and things, so I thought why not try it? But that was my little As to Haul. Hope you enjoyed. I feel like my vlogs are getting very repetitive. Starbucks, sushi, as Starbucks, su su Starbucks, sushi, and shopping food shopping all i do but isn't it what everyone does so that's good that's fun filled my day hi everyone welcome back to my weekly vlog i've been very quiet the last couple of days um but i've just had like such a good morning i've had like two calls for um some extra jobs some extra work um so i'm so excited to see how they go i've had like a little interview um i wasn't really going to talk about it on here because i don't know i just think it's a bit like i don't know i don't know i was trying to be private i think but yeah, I'm so excited. Obviously, I've had two calls talking like of other job sort of things and um, extra work just at the minute because I'm still not going back to work for seven weeks. So I just want to change it up and get some more money and things like that. So I've, I've had like such a productive morning in terms of like calls and 
like interviews and online tests so that's been good and now me and Jake are just heading over to walk the dog because there's not much else to do and I think when you've had a productive morning it's good to keep going yesterday I literally just sat and watched um to all the boys I will always love I think it's called the new one no to all the boys I've ever loved always and forever so it was the new one and it was honestly so good it was number three it was amazing and yeah now I'm just gonna go for a walk it's actually such a nice sunny day so make the most of it and I've got my Australian chocolate swab going up tonight which I'm so excited because obviously my cousin hasn't seen it yet and she's so excited to see like what things are like so that's going up tonight which I think will be a really good video but yeah exciting day Bells. walkies it's so sunny get me lipstick out Jake. <laughs> Bottle bank o'clock. Mandy's just putting a third come on. To go at the bottle. How many people have to go to the, <laughs> the bottle, bottle bank? Man. That one's going to be a nightmare because it's glasses. Glasses. You've got to put them in the right colour, Mandy. So Get your gloves on. I'm going to put my knife gloves. Lovely day for a walk. So I've been craving a McDonald's for like weeks. So we're going to go to McDonald's and I'm so excited. I don't know what to get, it feels like I've been, haven't been there in so long, so I don't even know what to get, but hope it's nice. Well, I got a feast, it took ages, but I got it. Mm -mm -mm. Chocolate shake, yummy, yummy, yummy. This is so naughty, but so good. I got McChicken sandwich, chips, and mozzarella dippers. Already eaten one of them in the car. And we've got a cheeseburger and a chocolate shake. Bad. Very bad. Hard, 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 hard. Windows down, it must mean it's summer. I'm just heading to Aldi to get some little bits that I need for tonight. Oh my god, I've just done the quickest supermarket sweep. I think I was literally in Aldi like five minutes, honestly, because I'm meeting my friend, but I needed to go to Aldi in case I didn't have the time after. So now I'm like, wow, that was literally so intense. But hey ho, I've done it. And now I'm gonna drop the stuff at home because it's actually so sunny. If I leave the chocolate in my car, it will melt. So I'm gonna head home and Jake, hopefully, if he's feeling kind, will come and grab it out the car and then I can just drive. So yeah, supermarket sweep. I'd actually love to do that for a video, a supermarket sweep. How fast can you get in and out the supermarket? <laughs> I think you'd have to do that like late at night though, wouldn't you? And if you did like, I don't know how it works, whether you have to have like a certain budget or something, but that'll be fun good video idea so I'm just waiting for my friend because we came to the quayside it's such a sunny day and I had I sound like an old woman when I say this but I had like smooth chill on on the way here oh my god and it was like kind of like holiday beside the pool music and I was just like this is so crazy if you closed your eyes you could pretend you you could be pretending you were on holiday oh my god honestly I'm so excited for a holiday me and Jake are thinking of going to Bali this year if we can like towards the end of the year so if anybody's been I did ask on my Instagram for some recommendations but if anyone's been please could you let me know but yeah it's such a nice day it was like 12 degrees I actually had the aircon on my car two seconds hello hi you okay sorry my friend needed me she's coming to park and she didn't have a um a parking app wouldn't work anyway so what i was going to say as well was yesterday obviously you've seen a clip of me saying about job interviews and when i've watched it back i was like i don't really make sense but obviously i've still got seven weeks until i go back to work i.e the shops are opening because i work in retail so i just wanted to i've been trying the whole of furlough to get something else but it hasn't really worked um and so I'm still trying and some things have came up but I've just waited to hear back from quite a few bits so I'm like come on um but yeah that's like my little life update also I kind of feel like these vlog weekly vlogs are getting a little bit repetitive so maybe next week I'm gonna mix it up and do like 
I won't do a weekly vlog. I don't know. I Maybe I'll do like a daily or something. I really, really don't know. But obviously, I know that a lot of people look forward to long videos. Because when I've done like shorter videos, they've said, oh, your videos aren't long enough this week. So I know that people like a long video. But I just feel like, for me, they're feeling very repetitive. Even when I'm like editing, it's like, oh, I go food shop and I go for walks. But... It is literally my life at the moment. There's nothing going on. I mean, today's like a change because I've came to the Quayside, which is in Newcastle. So we'll have a lovely walk again, get a coffee. There's nothing to do. And I'm excited for when life goes back to normal because I feel like the vlogs can just be so good again. Um, and obviously my friends will be in them. And, you know, it's just obviously because of life. That's why it's so crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm having a really nice, I feel like so positive today. My boyfriend was saying that I wasn't going to make it because I've been rushing around like... To Aldi and stuff but I made it and I'm here and I'm early so I feel good I said to him you know that one thing about me is I'm punctual so I'm here but yeah lovely day it feels like we're on holiday obviously I'm wearing a jumper but um yeah still feels so nice but that's the little I feel like that's just my little life update but let me know obviously if you if these vlogs are enjoyable like I enjoy watching them back but I'm just like is it very samey am I doing the same thing but honestly, there's really not that much going on in my life. So maybe I'll just give it, I might have like a week off the weekly vlogs next week and just create some good content and maybe some other bits. Like I think a few makeup tutorials as well. Like just like a very natural, like this sort of look. I mean, it's very basic, but people might want to see what products I use. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on different styles of videos. I, I don't really ask that much for like, what you want to see i just kind of put out what i enjoy doing but i think some requests would be absolutely more than accepted um but yeah it'll be fun when life resumes to normal to see what i get up to in my normal life um but this is as normal as it's gonna get for now but anyway i should stop rambling because i have been for a while i'm just gonna wait for my friend and then go for a lovely walk i think we're gonna get starbucks because there's a starbucks along on the key on the um riverfront so that'll be nice and it's really good weather. Do I wear a coat or do I not is the question. I don't know. Also, I must have lay funny in bed last night and my neck, oh, the pain. Anyway, must stop gassing. Just looked in the mirror and realized I had lipstick kind of all over. So in that last clip, I'm really sorry if my lipstick was all over my face. Hi, You're welcome. Well, <laughs> um, that used to go wrong, like you've like, so I've got changed and I've got some different comfies on and I've put a little bit more makeup on because it's Friday night and I'm going to have a few glasses of Prosecco or some gins tonight. Um, before when I was out for my walk on the quayside which was so nice, I actually got information that I got an email to say that I didn't get one of the jobs I went for and it was kind of the one that I really wanted. But I also knew that I didn't get it kind of thing. Like my gut was telling me like you didn't get that. When I came off the interview I didn't know how it went. But it was probably the one that I wanted the most at the time. Like I did the interview like two weeks ago. Um, but no I'm feeling okay. I just feel like you know sometimes you just know. Like my gut literally told me I hadn't got it. It was so weird. So I wasn't shocked. I just was a bit like oh it's a shame. But I'm kind of glad I know. Um... I think if you go for, sometimes I just think my gut is like too bang on, it's actually really scary. But you know, I think you've just got to be positive and I applied for loads of stuff yesterday, sorry the day before yesterday, and heard loads back so I just think something will come along, you just have to stay positive, don't you? But anyway, it's Friday night, I'm going to prepare some little snacks for tonight, like some dips and things. And I'm going to have some drinks and I'm so excited so that'll it's not drowning your sorrows it's just you know celebrating something else i'll have to celebrate something else but you know obviously i told quite a lot of people about that job so it's like telling people oh i didn't get it but i'm not bothered i don't i don't mind i just say oh i didn't get it but it's just like if i hadn't said anything i didn't have to tell as many people oh i didn't get it you know i don't know it sounds like i'm bothered but i'm really not i just feel like my gut was telling me i hadn't got it so always trust my gut honestly it's bang on with majority of stuff if in doubt, trust you got. Anyway, excited for my little drinks. I'm gonna prepare the snacks. <laughs> I'm 
That is a full cucumber, can you believe it? Doesn't look like much at all, apart from like two ends, what on earth? Cucumber Jenga. That looks pretty cute. Even though it looks like Jenga. The carrots look a bit messy, but how do you make them look nicer? That looks cute. Little snacks. Snack time. What a snack table. Just, who, who wants a drink? Just survived a hangover, so oh, we're having some I need a plate. Oh my god, look at them oh, chippies. So you should have. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Yeah. He should have put me into my curry by the Moorins. The fam bam are having chippy tea. Jake, your drink. And I've had the worst hangover of my life today. So I need all the carbs and all the grease. Chilling. So that's it for this weekly vlog. Thank you so much to everyone for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. And of course, I'll see you in my next video.